This episode of the Totally Rad Show is brought to you by Gamefly. Coming up, we head on down to Anaheim and check out this year's BlizzCon. Totally Rad Show. And welcome to the Totally Rad Show. We've got a great week. We took some time to go down to Anaheim to check out all of the Blizzard announcements from BlizzCon that's happening today. Yes, and then tomorrow we're talking about Batman Arkham City, the new open world Batman mm. game from Rocksteady. Mm. And then on Wednesday, it's back. And by it, I mean they. And, and by, by they, they, I mean <laughs> The Walking Dead. Who you do? <laughs> Uh, Thursday, we are getting ready for Halloween weekend. We're seeing Paranormal Activity 3. Yeah, if zombies didn't do it enough for you, Come how on. about, uh, you know, Weird surveillance cam? paranormal <laughs> stuff. And then uh, Friday, we're sticking with the Halloween theme with a very terrifying tale of Puss in Boots. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? It's in 3D, that's scary. Uh, great background, speaking of Batman. Oh, yeah, Kevin Rayfield sent this in. This is Lego Batman and Lego Joker mm. exploding, exploding for your there. entertainment. If you want to have your background on the show, you can send it to fans at totallyradshow.com and we will peruse it and place it behind our faces prominently for all to see. Boo yeah. All right, let's get into BlizzCon. At BlizzCon 2011, uh, there was a lot of chaos happening in there. Yes, and as a there lot always of fog. Is. It feels like mist. <laughs> mist. <laughs> Mists is the key word. We'll get to that in a second. Uh, it seems like BlizzCon keeps getting bigger and bigger. I feel like there's more people than there's ever been, more stuff going on. There's multiple stages. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Craziness. So, what are the big announcements? Well, of course we know Diablo is coming. Yeah. Of course we know a new StarCraft expansion is coming. Yeah. Uh, with the Zerg this time. Uh, well, it's not really an expansion, it's a whole new StarCraft experience. But WoW is the one that really made some waves. I was surprised at how much information and change was coming to WoW, because that's one thing I thought, well, we're not gonna see that because last year was the year that they announced the massive Cataclysm stuff. Was that last year? I think it was last year. I feel like we knew Cataclysm was going for two years. Well, but we knew, but this we got as much stuff as we did with Cataclysm, Last year, yeah. as we did with this, this year, which is surprising. Well, they've been saying that they're going to come out with expansions more frequently. And we yeah. got Mists of Pandera. Yes. We got the Panda class. It seems like we, we know that Star Wars is on the horizon. Oh. It is, it is the next Imminent. big MMO Imminent. that's coming out that people are excited about. Yeah. And it seems like the way Blizzard decided they're going to combat that is let's go adorable. Yeah. Let's get all adorable on everybody's yeah. ass. Uh, if. If uh, Cataclysm was How to Train Your Dragon, yeah, this, this is definitely is, Kung Fu Panda. This is literally Kung Fu Panda. I mean, even the things that they're saying, like the expansion is pure and simple Kung Fu Panda. That's it. Well, what do you think of that? I think it's we okay. We had some hands on time. Yeah. We played, we played uh, you know, five or six levels uh, yeah. of the starting area, which by the way, the starting area for level one characters yeah. is a turtle. Yeah, it's the back of a turtle. A giant sea turtle. I mean, here's the thing, so they have a new class, monk. the monk class, which is, yeah, it's interesting. I mean, it's martial okay. arts and kung fu mm -hmm. and it's, it's I mean, cool. it's, it is literally kung fu pin. I mean, it is, it's comically, the, the two massive announcements were the panda and his monk fighting style. Yes. And but the, you, the you, Pokemon stuff in the thing game, which you we'll can talk be about a monk, in a second. You can be a monk across a whole number of races. Though. This is totally true. This so totally we true. only saw the monk as a panda, so it is very kung fu panda, yes. but you can also be kung fu undead and so, but here's, kung fu here's, Dranai. This is the biggest issue that I have with World of Warcraft right now, and I think it's the biggest issue that World of Warcraft, the hurdle for World of Warcraft is right now, which is, even though the, the promise of Cataclysm was not fulfilled in my opinion. 
In what way? The promise of Cataclysm was it's WoW 2. No, nothing is going to be the same. And the bottom line is it's just not true. I started a new character, a goblin, which is one of the you know, new starting classes. Right. And the moment I got out of the goblin racist. starting area, it or races, yeah. Uh, I thought you just called me racist. I was like, what's racist about that? Racist. You don't know anything about goblin racist. racist. I was like, what? Uh, as soon as you get out of the starting area for the goblins and you get into Ogre Mar and all that stuff, it is the exact same stuff. Hmm. It, yes, there are different terrains. You are doing the same quest. You are dealing with mostly the Some same quests, Some new quest, right? Some, but it's like one in 10 will be a new quest. Mm. And the bottom line is, that is not something I want to go back through, okay. right? I have, I have got You've done a, that enough. I've done that way enough. Okay. So now, I'm not gonna have, I mean, I think it's gonna be like sort of when Morgan were out. People are gonna change to the panda. Yeah. But I think it's gonna be, you're gonna see people trying to grind monks and all that stuff. I think so, it'll be more akin to the Draenei, where it's like, and you saw people go start new characters because the Janai starting area was so different and so unique. Yeah, oh, but you gotta realize. And it's adorable! I know it's adorable. It's got a little punch. I know it's got a little punch, and I know he's got he's got bouncy is part bouncy. of his stats. But here's the other thing that I think the big problem that WoW has is now they're raising the level cap to 90. That is serious. I mean, when you start at level one. And, and you, you level faster than ever before. Yeah, but, I mean, come on, that is like, mm -hmm. it's just they have so much stuff left over. Now, here's the thing. It, I think it's a good addition. I think it's a wise addition because it is so not something that they're going to be getting, uh, uh, you know, butting heads with Star Wars Old Republic. There are, yeah. There is not going to be a panda class in Star Wars Old Republic. It's really Maybe interesting because they, they went completely different direction. Instead of, like, <clears> going, <throat> we're going to go more badass. Hardcore, yeah, yeah. We're going, we're going... Family friendly. Oh yeah. We're going kids. We're well, going look, girls. So you, know, you got to talk about people love this adorable. You got to talk about the pet Pokemon mini game stuff because that Unbelievable. is unbelievable. If there was one thing that was so clearly not focused to hardcore gamers and men, it is that. But I think now we may I think there's going to be it. a lot of hardcore gamers and men that like it. So obviously you've probably heard by now that, that there's a new pet battle system. The thing that's so and collection crazy. system. And collection. I mean, it is got to collect them all. It is yeah. Pokemon in, in, in the sense even that you're fighting masters yeah. to get their skills. And there's certain pets that you can only get if it's raining or and if it's raining genius. at night. I mean, or I hate to say on it, but a full that's moon genius. Yeah. In, in the Elwyn Forest, it's crazy. Yeah. So the, the thing that I think is so, so awesome that got me excited is that it's not just wow with little pets. It's a completely different fighting mechanic. It's turn-based. Yeah. So now you have all these younger players, <clears throat> uh, you know, non-traditional players, let's say, mm -hmm. that might be turned off by the sort of freneticism of what is traditional WoW combat. Yeah. A lot of buttons, a lot of skills to learn. Now you can do turn-based. You can build your team. You can, yeah. They're adorable. You can name them. It's a you whole can give new them game items. within a game. I mean, it's, it literally is a whole new game within a game. That th Blizzard could have put this out as a, a separate game, a World of Warcraft pet collecting and fighting game. Yeah. And it would have been a, a huge success. Yeah. So the question is, you know, I think they're really trying to up the game of saying, we know that Star Wars Old Republic is nipping at our heels, which is why one of the other big announcements which you've probably heard about is, if you purchase a year subscription to World of Warcraft, you get Diablo 3 for free. That is Month. That's it's actually crazy. a little bit verging on monopolistic. <laughs> well, <laughs> you know what I mean? We were joking like, before. I was, I was saying that it's like, it's like there's a Mon Mothma figure sitting in a room yeah. going, we have the plans to the Death Star, yeah, yeah, yeah. and we're doing a targeted <laughs> strike right to yeah. the center of what they hold most yeah, dear. Yeah. You know, it really, it really feels like we want to commit you to this, to our game for a year, and we'll give you, we'll throw you, they're using their advantages, and it's, and it's crazy. pretty brilliant. It's, oh yeah. I'm struck with how, how, how there are so many changes to WoW coming with this expansion, and oh. so many of them are, we want you to play this game in a number of different ways. Yeah. I think the new talent mm -hmm. system certainly is like yep, that. definitely. Where at, you'll have uh, key level points, like level 10, level 15, level 25, level 45, that you'll get a choice between three Spec specific skills. talents, yes, yeah. and you but can only pick skills. one. Right, they're not like talents like oh well you hit harder or any of those right. things. It's literally like you can use this spell or if you choose the other one you can't use that spell. You know what I mean? And I think one of the things that they <clears> mentioned <throat> is that uh, you know there seems to be set 
talent specs that people do. If you want to be a resto druid, you do this. Yeah. And that it doesn't really vary very much. Yeah. And they want to have, at each of these big points, they want to have three absolutely valid, yeah. viable skills that you can <laughs> use and I, so that people have more variety within a given spec. I think that is an impossible thing for them to think they can pull off. Really? Yes, that is Im impossible because there will be people that will figure out that the you can get way. 0 .001 right. heal per second better if you choose this one versus these other two. And the bottom line is everybody wants the best spec. Period. I'm inclined to agree with you, but I think if, 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 it, if it's so minute a difference that you really can play in these different styles, I think that is ex extremely exciting. Because one of the things I disliked about WoW hope that is that it is. got to the point where I was yeah. just like, well, I gotta go online and find the thing to do rather than be creative, yeah. you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I, I just don't think that it's, I mean, I mean it, it's, it's sweet that they wanna do that. I get that they wanna do that. I yeah. want them to succeed at that. But the bottom line is, it's like it's scientifically impossible. That you know what I mean? Like I hear what you're saying, and I, like I said, I'm inclined to agree. But I, I think it's a, a like you're gonna go on goal. elitist jerks, and it's oh, it's definitely a worthy goal. <laughs> and I hope that they can figure out how to do it. Yeah. And what you know what I mean? Like there, it's just. So what do you think of this expansion overall? I mean, we got to play some panda stuff. Well, I just we got to play got... some monk stuff, and no auto attack for the monk. So you're no actually doing punches so it and really is, flips. And, and they even said like we wanted it to feel more Street Fighter than anything else, and, and that oh, happens. That's cool. But at the end of the day, you know what I mean? I, when I first saw no auto attack, it was like, oh, so, what? Yeah. You know what I mean? But then when you play it, you're like, well, I don't really know that my swords are doing a little auto attack. When I, see, I just see white damage is yeah. not what I'm. And I'm usually doing a skill every time. I'm usually doing the skill every time. Yeah. Every time. I mean, anyway. when you watch me play, you know, my my. Uh, um, Rogue, I'm literally mashing yeah. strikes. Yeah. Waiting for it to become ready and then it'll fire. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it's not that big of a thing. But um, you know, I think it's I think it's a good thing. I think, you know, they've really started locking into this idea that people want to be able to do there's a point at which, and I got there with a couple of my characters, where the only thing to do next is a 10-man to 25-man raid. Right. And the bottom line is that's an impossible situation to put someone in. And they realize that you will group more easily. I mean, we didn't even talk about the, the sort of PVE situations. Right. What were they called? Uh, uh, scenarios. Uh, scenarios. Yeah, which we both immediately mm. thought, it's kind of Rift. Yeah. It's kind of like what Rift was doing, where something is happening in the overworld, yeah. and it's sort of a mini instance that you don't need a specific set of classes to attack. Yeah. Any class can jump in and just contribute. Yeah. And what, they, what was really smart that they said was that, you know how they always had those group quests? where they were like suggested players three. Yeah. They weren't dungeons, but you had to have three people. Right. And they were really frustrating because they were sort of out in the world and you couldn't, but you were like, is somebody else on there? You know, whatever. Now they're putting the queuing system like the dungeon finder for these instances or for yeah. these scenarios. They're, they, you know, no player collision as they say, so that you're, it's your own instance. I mean, basically they're little micro instances that you can run with three people and you don't need the, the uh, you know, the old uh, um, trying or try whatever yeah. of healer class, healer DPS right. and tank. It can yeah. be three t tanks, three healers. Why, Anybody why who's doing it, yeah. Healers. <laughs> three healers. Well, they can do, you know. Oh, yeah. Heal me, heal me, heal me, heal me, heal me. No, he's attacking me. Heal me, heal me, heal me. <laughs> we're just gonna oh, wear him down. <laughs> so of course, anyway. we're, we're most excited about WoW. The two of us are, you know, old time WoW players. Yeah. And I think that there were so many unexpected things announced about WoW, but certainly, and, and really not much Announced they about Diablo. Nothing I wish, was announced about I wish there was a, a, a release data. That's what they we really did want. say that they're going to be talking about later, and we're not going to see it. Uh, they're going to go auction through the house. auction house thing. Yeah. But that's info. I mean, that's. Yeah. We've been there. And uh, StarCraft. I played um, hands on with uh, the new StarCraft expansion, uh, and my God, it's gorgeous, yeah. and the new units look really interesting and cool. Uh, there's, you know, high-level StarCraft play going oh. on on the show floor, which That's is so, I awesome. I don't even know what's happening when I watch that shit. It, it's, I think it's really <laughs> awesome that they're having entire games based on each of the classes because the look and feel has completely changed the hub world. Yeah. It made so much sense to have the hub world of the Terrans, but now you're in, like, inside all this organic material. Yeah, and yeah. It is really cool looking. And another exciting BlizzCon. This is like my annual get excited about Blizzard again games. It's like, I oh yeah, I love WoW. Yeah. I forgot that I love WoW. Yeah. And I forgot that I am excited about StarCraft and yeah. Diablo. And so, it's crazy. Yeah, good stuff. In the can. And I think Dan is going to really like the panda. Yeah. I'll I think he's going to.
All right, everybody, be sure to stick around. We're going to answer one of your Twitter questions. But before we do, Jeff Kanata. Have you ever seen a game fly? When I throw it across the room, because hey, I don't like it. But if you do like it, oh, what if you I probably want to like play it, lots of games. And I spent a lot of money on it. It's a trick question. When oh. it flies right to me. Via the mail? Yes. Or some sort of uh, Australian boomerang system? <laughs> <laughs> a sponsor for this week is Australian Boomerang System. <laughs> No, it's Gamefly. Gamefly.com is awesome. It is the largest online video game rental service, and it gives you a choice of over 7,000 new and classic titles across every conceivable console and handheld. Console. Console and handheld. So, what does this mean for you? This means that if you want <laughs> games sent to you, play them as long as you want, no due dates, no late fees. Mm -hmm. It's only $15.95 a month. You can play as many as you can possibly cram into your fingers and face and eyes and all the other wonderful things you use to play games. Hopefully just the things you just listed. Just those things you yeah. listed. If, by chance, you want to keep the game forever and you don't want to just have it for a short period of time, although I think usually that's the case, right? If, you're, if you want to keep it forever, you can pay a reduced fee because mm -hmm. you're already a member. You just click buy it, keep it, and they let you uh, have all the game manuals and box and everything. It's awesome. Amazing. If you want a 15-day free trial, if you don't believe me that games can actually fly, they can, you can go to Gamefly.com slash TTRS. Don't forget that extra T. It stands for the Gamefly.com slash TTRS. 15-day free trial. That's the way you do it. And then you'll believe that a game can truly fly. I believe games can fly. I believe they can fly. I can believe it to touch the sky. <laughs> I can believe it to touch the sky. Even if it's night and day. Join us tomorrow for our review of Batman Arkham City. All right, Twitter question of the day. If you could live in one fictional universe, Lord of the Rings, Star Wars, Marvel, DC, etc., what would it be? Hmm. Sent in by at C. S. Sandberg, probably C. Sandberg. <laughs> C. Sandberg run. Uh, either you two gentlemen have. I got a good one. I, th yeah? I mean, I, th I think uh, if you think about it, mm -hmm. Star Trek's universe is pretty awesome, especially if you're not part of the freaking military. Yeah. If, if you're not on a ship exploring strange new worlds, stuff's pretty good in that universe. You got a yep. replicator. Yeah. You got a holodeck. Yep. I'm sure, like. Well, do, we, do regular people have holodecks? Or is or that military, military technology? Yeah. Really? The military needs a holodeck? I think that's like what people have in, that's like having a television. There's uh -huh. a television on the ship, uh -huh. you know? Right, like we so have one for the you entertainment. You send the Jetsons for that matter if that's all you're going well, for. Well, I think it's well, a great idea. I don't that want my car idea. to fold up into my briefcase. Well, all right. I disagree with you there, ja Dan. You know, I first thought the easy answer for me, the first thing that popped in my head Back was to was Bespin, Cloud City. Oh, Fantastic views, very progressive, black president. <laughs> <laughs> um, but then I realized some shit happens there. Oh, yeah. bad stuff. So then I realized, it, it, it's really, it's one of two choices. It's either Clearly. the world of Sky High, where every kid has a superpower. Ooh, mm -hmm. I like that. Or, nice. or Harry Potter. Oh, we're all Harry Potter. Potter. Well, as long as I'm not a muggle. And there's things that you, you're in Harry right, Potter so right high, now. Sky High is the be, be, best. Sky, the, high, sky, sky high. high. Sky High. Sky High. Yeah, you're Alex? in Harry Potter right now. You that just one? don't know it. Yeah. Uh, I was gonna <laughs> go with either uh, Knight Rider, so that I could have a car like Kit that would talk to me. But then I thought you're in that world. You're in that world right now. No, it's not. It's not as good as Kit. You're not Michael Knight. I'm not gonna be able to put my watch. We're choosing characters. We're choosing everyone other than Michael Knight lives not in that world. Yeah, but there's no Michael Knight yet. And my name is Michael Knight. <laughs> Second, uh, Transformers. I want to have big robot. World, also, that, once again, we're in that world. That, they, these are these are things that are happening. I guess same thing as Harry Potter. Yeah. Hello. Do do. Sky high. Sky high. Skadoosh. Skadoosh. I think you're overlooking Star Trek. Thank you, Cecil. <laughs>